Now, since we need to know this to pass step one, let's do a practice question real quick. There's a 10-month-old boy brought to the pediatrician because he has recurrent otitis media. Maybe they've got a staphylococcus aureus infection. But one thing we know is the maternal uncle died of a childhood infection at age 12. The exam reveals absent tonsils and small lymph nodes. T cell count is normal, but the B is undetectable. And all these things are markedly decreased. What does it look like on exam though? Well, they're going to give you a graph that kind of looks like this right here. One, beta two, they're all maybe elevated because you got some inflammation in your body. But look at this down here. The gamma tells us, and again, I mentioned this is hypo or a gamma globinemia, that these guys right here are deficient. Well, why are they deficient? It's because our kiddo here has a defect in the BTK gene. This is an excellent disease. It stops the maturation of the B cells. So they can't opsonize bacteria and then you get infections. And that's what Staph aureus has to do with a gamma globinemia. Okay, then what's the answer? Well, the immunodeficiency is a mutation in tyrosine kinase that's required for B cell maturation. Going back here, you can see the problem is in the B cells. So now you know. Like and subscribe for more content like this.